The Lighthouse at the End of the World French, Le Fair du Bout du Monde is an adventure novel by French author Jules Verne. Verne wrote the first draft in 1901. It was first published posthumously in 1905. The plot of the novel involves piracy in the South Atlantic during the mid-19th century, with a theme of survival in extreme circumstances, and events centering on an isolated lighthouse. Verne was inspired by the real lighthouse at the Isla de los Estados, Argentina, near Tierra del Fuego and Cape Horn. Although not as well known as Verne's other novels, it is generally considered as good by Verne's fans and the literature critics. The novel was adapted into the 1971 movie, The Light at the Edge of the World. Plot <inaudible> <inaudible> summary <inaudible> <inaudible> Vasquez, Moritz, and Felipe are the three lighthouse keepers stationed at the Staten Island Lighthouse off the southern tip of Argentina. Two of them are murdered by a band of newly arrived pirates led by Juan Conga. Vasquez, the only survivor, spends several months until the dispatch boat Sante Fe is due to return, surviving off the pirates' hidden stores of food in a cave. After the century, an American ship from Mobile, Alabama, crashes on the island due to the lights having been put out by the pirates. Vasquez bands with the sole survivor of the wreck First Officer John Davis to stop the pirates from escaping into the South Pacific. They manage to scavenge a cannon from the wreckage and shoot the pirate ship, the Maul, as it is about to leave the bay they are situated in. The shell only causes minor damage, however, and the pirate's carpenter is able to fix it in only a few days. The night before the ship is about to attempt to leave again, Vasquez swims to the mall at its mooring and plants a bomb in the rudder. This causes, yet again, only minor damage, and is fixed in only one day. The next day however, Carcante, the second in command of the pirate ship, spots the Sante Fe on the horizon. Fortunately for the pirates, it will not arrive until nighttime, and the Sante Fe can't possibly get into the bay without light from the lighthouse. This will give the pirates the perfect chance to slip out and sail around the southern side of the island, which they know quite well by now. Vasquez and Davis, however, return to the lighthouse and turn the light back on. The troop of pirates tries to regain the lighthouse and kill the two, but they find the bolted iron door to the staircase too reinforced to break down. Conga, the band's leader, orders Carcante and the carpenter to climb the side of the lighthouse and murder Vasquez and Davis at the top, but they are shot as soon as their heads peek over the banister. Conga and the remaining pirates realize it is all over for them and flee to the island's interior. Most surrender afterward, a few starve, and Vasquez watches as Conga commits suicide. Vasquez returns home with the Sante Fe after making sure the island is safe for the new lighthousemen. <laughs> 